Good morning, South Avenue. It is Thursday, the 17th of September. And today we get to see a whole different group of students. We're super pumped to get you guys in here. Uh, we got to see our, our first group, our blue group, on Monday and Tuesday. And today is the gold group coming in for the first time. So we'll get to, you know, everybody can practice their standing separately in the hallway and wearing their masks. So far that's been going pretty well. You would be amazed how much work has been going into getting this school year started. It's incredible. Have there been a couple of times where, you know, like the, the technology or whatever? Yes. But you really should be impressed by all the work that the teachers have done, the custodians have done, the help that the IT department has done. I mean, the, the technology department has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, of help tickets right now that they're trying to get through as fast as possible. So we really appreciate everybody being patient in this first week of school while we're doing something that we have never done before. But gotta say it's really exciting to do something different so as much as we like to get into back to normal it's kind of fun to do something that we've never done before anyway what's for lunch for lunch today uh, we have chicken smackers so um, you can either get chicken smackers uh, a turkey sandwich or the box it so the box it has you know some uh, yogurt in there and some crackers or something like that. So so like the snack pack, but box it is the new uh, name for it The weather today it looks like it's supposed to cloud up right now. It's pretty sunny I think it's gonna be sunny for a little while But then I think the clouds roll in and not just that haze that we've had the past few days But actual clouds and the temperature should be good though in the 70s so here is another video from the Twitter feed of uh, the Clearwater Sloop. They have been doing these little mini um, educational videos about critters that you will find in the Hudson River. And the Hudson River is going to be a big theme for us this year. So um, I'm loving these videos. And it's so cool. I don't know that we're going to get on the boat this year. Normally the fourth graders take a sail on the Clearwater Sloop and that isn't necessarily in the cards this year but um we will see and it's this is the next best thing hi everybody my name is freddie i'm an ed deck on board the sloop clearwater and today for wildlife wednesday we are going to be talking about blue crabs which are one of my favorite wildlife ever um, the scientific name for blue crab is Kalanectes sapidus. Um, Kalanectes meaning beautiful swimmer and sapidus meaning delicious in Latin. This is just like a really fitting name for the blue crab because a um, little fun fact about myself, if you didn't know, my favorite meal like in the whole world is soft shell crab. Um, so they are delicious. They're also, they also are beautiful swimmers. Um, blue crabs are what we call decapods, meaning they have ten limbs. Um, they have these two like front claws here. They have six walkers, which they used to like scurry around the floor of the river. Um, and they have these swimmers back here, which are, <laughs> um, which they used to swim back and forth in the river. Um, and if you're ever gonna hold a blue crab, it is useful to hold them by the swimmers so that they don't pinch you. Um, yeah. Another thing about this blue crab is that it is a male blue crab. And you can tell this by looking at the bottom of its shell. Um, it's got a little shape that kind of looks like a rocket or like the Washington Monument. And uh, that's how you tell it's male. I've got like my friend Tim over here Hi. that's got a female crab. Um, female crabs have more of a triangular circular shape at the bottom of their shell. Um, yeah, and that's all I've got for blue crabs for Wildlife on Stitch Day. Thank you so much for listening. You remember when um, I we were talking about the haze that the making the sun sets and the sun rises so interesting looking this year. I mean, we are connected all throughout the world. If something's happening in California, those fires, we are experiencing it here. That it connects us to the other side of the country. Well, the other thing that we are connected by is the water, the river. 
um, uh, the Hudson River connects us to a huge part of New York State called the New York the uh, Hudson River watershed. And basically, any drop of rain that falls within the watershed is going to end up in the Hudson. And so in a way, the Hudson River connects us to a giant part of the state. And I took a little uh, field trip this summer to um, take a look at different parts of the Hudson River. So sticking with our Hudson Valley theme here, um, this summer I spent some time with the drone and um, I traveled up north to take a look at the Hudson River at different places. You know the Hudson River by Beacon. It's giant, right? It's amazing. It's like when you look at Newburgh, it's a long way across that river. There's a lot of water in there. But believe it or not, the Hudson River starts out as just a little pond called Lake Tear of the Clouds. And then it's a little stream that comes down the mountain. So how does it get to be as giant as it is now? Well, uh, water gets added. As it goes along, there are little rivers that come into the Hudson that we call tributaries. So the little tributaries come into the Hudson and they add more and more water until it gets to be the size that it is now. So why don't we take a look at some of the drone footage that we got this summer. Uh, I think this is um, up in the Adirondacks. And look at that little stream. That little stream is the Hudson River. It's a little, like about the same size as the Fishkill Creek, right? But there it is, Hudson River. So um, I flew the drone here for a while. Let's zip up here. You can see the lovely trees and the Adirondacks. And there it is, the Hudson River. Just a little stream at this point. The Hudson River is very small here. You can see it kind of uh, meandering. Okay, that's what you call when it's kind of going back and forth like that. But as we get up here, you're going to see a tributary that comes into the Hudson River. So do you see this little stream right here? Well, that's going into the river. So where the river is here, it's smaller, and then the tributary comes in and adds more water, so it gets just a little bit bigger. And that's the Hudson River way up north. Pretty different from the river that you know. There's that tributary again. And then just for fun, I'll show you what happened. I was trying to go under the bridge, and I got a little, little too close to the water. So I thought, oh, I'll go under the bridge. But no, it wouldn't go because there's sensors that stop it from going places. And then I accidentally went down instead of up and almost lost the drone in the water. Ah! Luckily, it was all fine. But whew, that was a scary second there. Look at how pretty that is, the Hudson River flowing down south. So if you were like a little uh, leaf and you fell in right here, you kept going for 100, 200 miles, you would go right by Beacon. This is the same river. All right, so let's take a look. So now we go down south. Um, to near Albany, the state capital, and in Albany, the Hudson River looks like this. So much bigger, right? Whoa, look at that. Much bigger river near Albany. So a lot of tributaries have come into the river, and you can see that it is much, much bigger than that little stream we saw at first. And there is another tributary. Look, that, that tributary is almost as big as the Hudson River was before. So if you can imagine more and more tributaries adding water to the Hudson River, that's how it gets so big. So this is the throughway right there, or the north way, I guess, at that point. And you can see that bridge is a lot bigger than the little tiny bridge I was on where I almost drown the drone, right? Look at, that's a big bridge. So you get a sense of how big this river is now, right? It's gotten much, much bigger since, I mean, there's a tractor trailer truck. That is 
a big river. But if we keep going down south, there's that tributary again, it comes into the river. So all this water is getting added to the Hudson River. We go now to where you live in Beacon. This is what the river looks like. Holy cow, it's gigantic, right? I mean, think about how many tributaries had to add water to make the river this big. And, you know, it still goes down south towards New York City and gets more and more water in it. So the Hudson River, when we call the Hudson, there's Beacon. When we call it the mighty, mighty Hudson, it really is mighty. That is a lot of water. Think about that little tiny stream that we saw at the beginning up in the Adirondacks, and now it's this. Think about that little tiny bridge, and then look at the Newburgh Beacon Bridge. Think about how wide that river is now. There's Long Dock right down there. They're doing some construction um, on the, the dock at the end. There's Newburgh over there, and I mean, there's some little boats in there. I mean, this is one big, it's such an amazing resource for us here in New York. It's really um, a special place. And this year, we are going to be taking a close look at the Hudson River and try and get down to the river as many times as possible and um, study the river here in the, the library and in your classrooms. So um, I'm really excited about taking a closer look at the Hudson River this year. There's Long Dock again. South Avenue is uh, right about here, I guess. Um, there's Davies right there. So they're doing some work. There's a cool shot above the work. You can see how they're working on um, the end of Long Dock. Let's see. So we'll be going down to Long Dock and taking a look. Let's see, Dennings Point. This is Dennings Point. Sometimes we'll be going to Dennings Point and uh, we'll, we'll visit both places this year. Okay, so there you go. The Hudson River from beginning. Well, next time I go up to the Anirondacks, maybe I'll try and go to Lake Tier of the Clouds and get some footage of the actual beginning of the Hudson River because that's uh, something I've wanted to do for a long time. Because it's so hard to imagine this giant river starting off as just a little pond. Have a great day, South Avenue. We will uh, hopefully get some kids down this afternoon. So Friday's news should have some real anchors. And I hope you have a great day, especially you guys who are here for the first time. Have a great first day of school.